So our research group is into understanding how students learn chemistry. Um, there's been an awful lot done over the last eight to 12 years about the cognitive science of learning chemistry and our group is at the vanguard of much of that work, particularly with respect to how we can use technology to help students learn chemistry and not get in the way of learning chemistry. So we do a lot of different types of research, some of which is quantitative, that is, takes advantage of large numbers of students interacting with our materials or our, our technology. And some of it is, is what's called qualitative, where we do interview research with individual students or about 20 students um, over time. And that gives us and my students a lot of experience in terms of working with people that can be translated into doing chemistry education research or working in any kind of environment where you have to interact with individuals and figure out what's going on. So we collaborate a lot. Um, we have collaborations from all over the world. Um, we strongly collaborate with people in Canada in particular, but um, one of our projects is with the IUPAC, um, and it has people, 21 different people from 18 different countries. So um, it's a pretty large collaboration, and what it does is it helps us to eliminate the possibility that everything we're learning about how students learn is associated with an individual system of learning, such as the United States in our K through 12 education, and then going on to university, um, other places that are quite different. And so that really makes a big difference for what we can learn about what students know and when they know it in terms of chemistry. Um, we also collaborate closely on the technology side with Carnegie Mellon University. Um, they're world leaders in, in machine learning and how it's applied to helping students. Um, and uh, that's a really interesting project um, that we've been um, doing for a number of years now. And so we're, um, we're, we're making great progress there and, and, and able to build technology systems that anticipate what students are doing wrong and help them before they make mistakes in general chemistry. They very often end up teaching at a university. That's uh, unsurprising given that what we do is chemistry education research. Um, so I, probably 80% of my graduate students um, have found teaching jobs principally at um, smaller or comprehensive universities. Um, but there are others who've done um, interesting things, um, working for uh, large state agencies associated with education rather than being in a, in a particular classroom. Um, and, um, and several students have had postdocs along the way after, after finishing here. Um, so it, it's, it's a mixture of both, but largely oriented towards, um, towards teaching, particularly at the university level. Um, it's really a, a, a nice environment in many ways. I think um, the, our, our faculty are interested in teaching in many respects, so that often gives us interesting problems to work with. Um, but on the other side, I think it gives our students, in, in my group at least, um, are often involved with others who are interested in teaching. I have students who are not doing chemistry education research who take the chemistry education class that we teach here. I have um, students who um, are, are working with um, a new TA assignment who come in and asks us, our students about things and interact with us. So it's a very open and, and encouraging environment. People drop in on a routine basis and it's not just chemists. Our group meetings routinely have people from other departments who come and they're graduate students. So it's a really nice environment where you're not always stuck thinking about, well, my job is to get augmented reality to work in the laboratory, um, which is important to do, but you have the opportunity of working with many other people, including your fellow graduate students in chemistry who are interested in teaching and I think that that changes the environment for people in a very positive way both in our group and those who come and visit us. There's no question it has to be the collaborations that we're able to have both here in the chemistry department and with other educators and, and even the veterinary school or in, in physics or the school of education so lots of people here actually quite interested in trying to help students learn even um, things that we might not expect uh, in terms of some of the math faculty doing amazing stuff um, with the calculus class which is a struggle for some students and having the opportunity to work with people who are, are approaching those kinds of problems has been really valuable to us. Um, 
You don't find that at every university, but I think we find it in, in really strong numbers here at Iowa State. And um, here within chemistry, what that means is that if we find a way that we think can help students in a particular laboratory, how can we tweak that so that other laboratories can benefit from it as well becomes a, a really valuable thing. And we need to have collaboration amongst our colleagues and they inevitably say yes and do collaborate with us. So it's a, it's a really good environment in that respect.